So basically our breeders we are working very closely with the farmers and sometimes like for instance in Ikrisat where I work we are having some open days when farmers from the different places they come and visit our field. Yes we normally participate we involve the farmers through farmer training schools we, they, we also have um, agricultural training centers where as we do the evaluation before we go into farmer participatory trials, they come and select with us so that their attributes are, and their preferences are taken into consideration. So already the farmers' interests and their needs are taken care of in these varieties. So chickpea, as I told, so drought is a very serious constraint. And in the phase one, we have identified a genomic region which contributes for or contributes for drought tolerance and what we did that together with our breeders in India, Ethiopia and uh, Kenya and also in Tanzania, what we did that we, we started to integrate this cutial region in farmers preferred varieties and uh, now we are having those improved lines after integrating that cutial region. The, the farmers has to compare whether the varieties are better for what. You know, uh, there is a market acting over there. The market even pays better for uh, those uh, quality, quality, quality production or quality produce, which eventually this, uh, this, this produce have been really the varieties that we have already released. And with the farmers get the um, better resistance or tolerance level of the varieties to uh, biotic and abiotic instance or uh, stresses and when the farmers are recognizing that there is a better harvest compared to what he has at hand uh, and the impression uh, is uh, very high not only the impression but also the level of income the level of uh, uh, livelihood improvement in, in particular in, in those farmers which really very well adapted the varieties is becoming meaningful and that lesson has been really shared by many of the farmers around and uh, rather we are getting really two-way uh, information just we, get, we gave them what we have and we are also getting challenges better uh, approach that can be done and uh, even their, their own knowledge on that so that uh, it's becoming a good forum technology dissemination becomes a good forum in uh, both ways where uh, really the best out of that can be uh, extract the way we see is a good learning uh, uh, forum or uh, platform uh, so the impression level of the farmers is really very high and explained in different ways yeah the the sometimes it is it is based on gender you will see men looking for market-oriented traits, and the uh, women or female would like things that can easily be cooked. They look at the color of the grain. They like brown ones to mix with potatoes or to mix with maize, and uh, those ones that can be that can mature early for purposes of getting vegetables or getting food addition in the dry run areas. So those are the characteristics gender normally look at. But for the men, they like big seeded and high yielding, which they can make money from when they sell. As they look at it as cash crop, mainly. Now farmers now started producing chickpea as a cash crop, entirely as cash crop, particularly with cabalists. I'm told that uh, they have the plan, uh, they, they are just at household level, they are planning to grow cereals for their home consumption as food source and chickpea as, as cash source. That's how it is really interacting with the market, that's how wealth is being generated, that's how I think the value is being uh, mm, evaluated for that particular uh, commodity. So in different legumes, they are having the different preferences. So for instance, in case of chickpea, huh? in chickpea, there are two type of two market types. One is called desi type, another is kabuli type. So for instance, kabuli type of chickpea, this is having more premium in the market. So they would like to have the bigger seed size and the white color thing. 
and uh, because they get more price and some of our breeders when like dr puran gaur he developed some varieties which are having higher seed size and this was getting more money so they started to call that variety as a dollar variety because they are getting more money then they get another variety which was bigger further then they say double dollar so sometimes these farmers they put or they name those varieties by their choice as well so yeah